I saw that competition today. You gotta make each other better until we are our damn best. You gotta make each other better until we are our damn best every day. On the field, off the field in that classroom, now that your teammates on that side of the ball, iron sharpens iron. Take care of each other. If you wanna be sharp, then go ahead and sharpen each other. Let's go break them down here, Jay. Let's see that. Woo! Woo! G! Hey, the day ain't over yet, man. Be a pro, man. Put some extra work in. There we go. Let's go. We gotta, hey, we gotta get it done. We gotta find a way, dog. Yeah. We gotta find a way. Go, so, Argos on three. One, two, three. Argos. Hey man, there was, there was once this famous poet that said, uh, do what you love and love what you do. <laughs> Go ahead, give us one. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Love what you do, do what you love! Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. With the CFL's only unbeaten team, it's the Argos and Bombers under the Friday Night Lights as we welcome you inside IG Field. Bethel Thompson for Armonte Edwards. Great snag, gets away. Touchdown, Toronto! There goes moving, Bethel Thompson, Darrell Walker all alone! Touchdown, Toronto! And the shutout streak for that Winnipeg defense is over. First touchdown is a Toronto Argonaut. For first and 10. And he's going deep for Walker again. Darrell Walker, touchdown. Going down the loading dock. Going to load our truck. Off to the next place. Yeah, we're going to try and get out of here as quick as possible. It takes about an hour to load the plane once we get there. So. Uh, you know, we'll try and hustle up so that the uh, the players aren't waiting for us. They're uh, they're tired. They're hungry. We we'll just try and expedite things as quick as we can, and you know, um, get them in bed early tonight. Welcome to the crib. <laughs> on the road, baby. We here. Let's do it. For me, it's uh, being on the road is nice just because you get a chance for the guys to, you know, you got guys back at home in Toronto that got wives, that got kids, you know, girlfriends, got a lot of things to do to it. Right after meetings, right after practice, they kind of got to jet out and, and, and get with their families. They got responsibilities and you no know, errands and that. But on the road, it's kind of like, you know, there's no wives, there's no kids, there's no girlfriends. It's just uh, you and your teammates, you and your brother. So it gives us a really good time to really know bond and get to know each other because it's always good to kind of know who you're going to war with, who you're going to feel with outside of just X's and O's, outside of, oh, you play receiver, you play DB, or, or et cetera. It's good to get to know people um, on a deeper level, you know? So you know when you're on that field, it's kind of like, okay, I know what motivates that dude. I know how to, how to tap into, you know, how to make them, you know, push them more and things like that. So I, I enjoy being on the road. Check, wave check, my dog. Yeah, <laughs> best waves in the CFL, man. <laughs> Best ways in the hey, CFL for that. sure. We finna go eat at Cactus Club, catch a nice little vibe. They got some really good food. Just like the vibe, they got the DBs, man. They kind of break bread, do something outside of watching film all the time and practicing. It's good to build that relationship and that bond, you know, so we'll do it easy, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Man, dinner was amazing. Cactus Club never fails me as always. It was a great vibe with the team. Everybody that showed up tonight, man, um, it's a day in the life on the road. Don't get no better than that. You get good eats, good vibes, and then we're about to go back to the hotel and uh, wind down, man. It's a wrap. We out of here. A beautiful, cool, breezy Thursday evening in Calgary. The Brick Thursday night football. The Stampeders back home for the first time in three weeks. Looking to get back over 500 against the 0-4 Argos. We got the Northern Pikes at halftime, but first we've got an Eastern-Western showdown in Southern Alberta.
And a four-man rush in Arbuckle. And a man in his face, and it's intercepted by Michael Hallway. The cloud Bethel Thompson make it seven. And a short one to James Wilder, who takes it in for an Argonaut touchdown. The Wild Man strikes yeah, for the double blue. After the uh, Calgary game, uh, the players uh, jumped on a couple buses and headed up three hours north to Edmonton. Uh, Dave and I jumped in the cube van and uh, kind of were about 20 minutes behind the bus. And uh, you know, it's a long day on game day. Uh, I'm still up in Adam, Ontario time with that two hour difference. So it's a, it makes for a long day. And then uh, to pack the truck up and to drive three hours after the game as well. Um, it's, it takes its toll, but you gotta keep plugging. Oh, yeah, that's my dog. <laughs> hey, that's my dog, man. You know what I'm saying? Brothers, we look out for each other. Ooh, they a little tight, but we're going to make them work. We're going to make them work. And, um, we're coming from the hotel. We're going to the uh, West Edmonton Mall, the biggest mall in North America. So we're going to check it out and do some good old, good old shopping. Here we are. We just walked in the mall. Haven't hit up the first store yet, but we just see what they got. Driving in, this place looks huge. Shopping is mandatory that you have to fill yourself up. You gotta get some food. You're gonna be burning a lot of energy, especially in a big mall like this. We're gonna open up this fortune cookie though, man. Let's see what the, uh, let's see what I need to listen to. Words of wisdom I need to listen to. You have a strong instinct to take care of the people you love. That's pretty obvious. <laughs> I don't like that one. That's why you get two fortune cookies just in case. Here we go. Ah, a sweet surprise awaits you. That's, that's what I was looking for. So. Um, I think we did uh, about three and a half hours of shopping and we have only a shirt. Sometimes that's how the day goes. The mall is huge, so I still have a week before game day. Um, so I think I'll find something by then, but shout out to Simons. They got my shirt prepared. Stay tuned for the trip. Just headed to the therapy room. I uh, get set up for treatments today. It starts at 7 a.m. here in Edmonton, Alberta. Gotta get the guys ready for day three of practice. Toronto to Winnipeg for the first game and right after the first game we took a charter to Calgary where we set up our therapy room. Uh, I don't know how many days we were there, about a week. And then after the game against Calgary we bust in here to Edmonton. And for this whole road trip, I think a total of 15 days, it's just uh, my assistant Mark and myself. Uh, we had to leave Natalie and Valerie back home to treat the guys on the, the injured list. Um, so it's been a little tough, you know, two of us, 55, 60 guys. It's been busy, but just keep grinding. It's a beautiful morning. In fashion. Okay, we're gonna get a breakdown by SJ. Then after that, we're gonna go on that damn bus so we can watch some fail. Let's go. <laughs> hey, let's get ready for a new day, man. We lost a game four days ago. It's over with. We got we gotta live a new day tomorrow. Wake up with a new day, new mindset. Let's go out here and dub, man. Whatever it got whatever it takes for you to get in your zone, do that. And get in that zone and show up and let's play ball, man. So all goes on three. One, two, three. Uh -huh. SJ 
Eskimos return home for the first time in a month to face the Witless Argos on the road for a third consecutive game as they clash at Commonwealth Stadium. Up in the air now, one and four, so they knock on the door. Here it is. Jack Cooper on the and the Argos get the game. So a team has been played by wow. making turnovers. Gets them a back to back plays, and this one's going to stick.